tonight on New Central 34, could a decision to purchase this property by the Mount Pleasant City Commission raise your taxes? And what led to this Detroit City bus crash? Live from Mount Pleasant Zone, this is New Central 34 at 5. Good evening and welcome to New Central 34. I'm Deanna Falzone. We're actually now joined with Mason Flick, who's live in the studio with information on the Mount Pleasant City Commission's recent purchase. Good evening, Mason. Good evening, Deanna. There's been a lot of concern over tax increases due to the purchase of the Mount Pleasant Center property. We talked to Mount Pleasant City officials about these concerns and more. purchased 350 acres of property which used to belong to the city. The purchase of this large area of land that was formerly the Mount Pleasant Center is causing controversy regarding the buildings on the property. These buildings contain harmful chemicals like lead paint and asbestos and will cost millions of dollars to repair. We spoke with City Commissioner John Joslin and he had this to say about the repairs. That and that's anywhere from 4.7 to 5.7 million dollars based on our new estimate we received last night from our uh, environmental consultants. Jazen said that the cost of purchasing the land is only one dollar, but it will cost over five million dollars to clean up and demolish the buildings on the property. The cost of the repairs raised many questions, including an increase of taxes. We spoke with Jazen about the purchase to see if taxes are going to go up. Nobody would see a reduction in services. There wouldn't be any tax increase. We would just continue making that payment for another 20 years rather than having it paid off in 2016. So there are ways of doing the project without having to do a tax increase. Joslin also talked about the city's future plans for the property. He says the city has many different ideas for the land, including residential, commercial, and possibly even industrial development. For New Central 34, I'm Mason Flick. Deanna, back to you at the desk. Thanks, Mason. And the Michigan State Police makes a big announcement. In a plan unveiled Thursday, the MSP says they will go from 62 anchor posts to 29. This means 21 posts will close and 12 others will be redesignated as detachments in an effort to save nearly $21 million. The plan does not include any layoffs, and officials say no part of the state is being abandoned. The MSP adds the consolidation will help eliminate the cost to repair posts and the lease payments. This plan has already been approved by the governor's office. And protesters in Lansing continue to make a stand with what they're calling a Snyderville demonstration. One group of protesters says they plan to sleep outside in cardboard boxes at the state capitol tonight. Organizer Blair Panica says since other protesters were arrested last week for trying to camp inside the capitol, they figured it would be better to spend the night outside. About a dozen or so people confirmed to attending the camp out. And a West Michigan woman is headed to prison for the death of a five-year-old girl. 31-year-old Joy Heaven of Kent County was sentenced Thursday to face 25 to 50 years behind bars for the young girl who died while in her foster care last summer. Emily Mino died in July from a massive brain trauma after being shoved by Heaven and hitting her head on the floor. Heaven said she was frustrated with the girl for wetting her pants and being in her way. Menno and her twin sister, both developmentally disabled, were were cared for by heaven while their mothers were working on her while their mother was working on her own parenting skills and a Detroit City bus was a part of a crash last night. Authorities say a car cut off the bus, so the bus driver swerved to avoid hitting it. But he ended up hitting the car and then crashing into a commercial building. Thankfully, no one was inside the building at the time, although Detroit fire officials say six people were hurt, including the bus driver. There's no word yet on how serious the injuries are. And a Michigan man is being accused of stealing computers from a local library. Dallas Manners from Harrison allegedly stole the computers to contact his ex-girlfriend who he recently dumped. Harrison after learning of an ongoing affair with another woman. The Saginaw News reports Harrison was arraigned on Wednesday and will face a preliminary examination on Monday on six charges of breaking and entering and larceny. 
And OMG, FYI, and LOL may have all started from text messages and tweets, but now can actually be found, get this, in the dictionary. Chief editor of New Words for the Oxford Dictionary, Graham Diamond, explained what it takes for a new word to make the grade, saying, quote, you have to show that the word has been in usage for a decade length of time, and most importantly, that the word is used and understood by a wide audience. And that's all we have for you tonight for News Central 34. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deanna Falzone, and have a great weekend.